Hey everyone, uh, Coin Metallurgist here. Um, I went to a coin shop that uh, normally the only thing I look at there is um, his World Silver. Um, I think he typically gives it to me at spot. Um, whatever I pick out, he had told me that it had gotten looked through and most of it had gotten picked over. Uh, I pulled three little coins out, a uh, Russian 10 Kopeck from 1905. A uh, Chinese um, Provi Providence. Uh, I think it's 7.2 um, Cinderines. And, it, you know, it's got some Sharpie on there. Um, but, you know, got it really cheap. And this coin's got a hole in it, but we have a Guatemala um, half uh, real, I think, from 1879. So I did pick up three little silver coins. Um, and then I, I distracted myself. By first, I went and started just looking through his bulk world coins. And I got a bunch of world coins I'm trying to look through at home here. So I didn't get, a, I didn't get very many things. I got a uh, 50 cents from uh, Australia from 1982 for the Commonwealth Games in uh, Brisbane. It's the 12th Commonwealth Games. Got a uh, $1 from Hong Kong, 1998, and a five uh, kroner, kronor from Sweden. And then um, where I kind of really got distracted is I asked him about uh, exchange coins that he'd put aside for people to um, pick up when they're going to go to a country on travel. And so I looked through like the Euro coins and I picked up a bunch of um, 10 cent and higher, uh, 10 through 50 cent Euro coins that I didn't have yet just because um, when I go through bulk world coins, they're always pulled out for because of their face value is more valuable than their weight. Um, there weren't any like one or two Euro coins, which um, was unfortunate because I would have bought them. Um, but lots of 10 cent, lots of 20 cent, um, and 50, 50 euro cent from various countries. And then I, I got a few other coins that are, um, I paid just, I paid like just below the exchange rate. So I got a $2 from New Zealand, a $2 from Canada. It's a little bit different than the ones that I have. It's got, uh, Three bears on here instead of just one. Um, a bunch from Australia here. Mostly one pound coins. Um, just different um, commemorative ones that I don't have. And I, I just went off the design of what ones I have. I haven't really looked into these yet. So we got Century of Federation. And I'm not going to read all these to you, but I'll just show you what I picked up. And of course, none of these are uh, really old or valuable coins. They're just coins that I don't have and I wanted to add to my collection. So it was worth buying them for me. I just bought every type that he had that, that I didn't have yet. International Year of Peace. back um the the 50 pence are sorry these are 50 cents because this is australia so we got world war um remembrance so it's world war ii australia's volunteers kind of a cool one there world war ii again And I'm just Australia, not sure about that one. And 120 pence. International Women's Day. Interesting coin. Um, and then lastly, I picked up like 17 pounds and 20 pence worth of British um, coins that were commemorative ones that I didn't have. Um, a few uh, one pound coins mostly two pound and 50 pence coins um that was just the shield Let's see 
grab that one. And of course, I don't. I haven't looked up um, what any of these are necessarily commemorating yet. Um, I just picked up the designs I didn't have. And the, like even the new one pound, I didn't have it at all. And I didn't have any. That's just a twenty pence. I didn't have any of the uh, two pound coins, so ever I picked up one of each thing he had. DNA double helix. I believe this is the the normal design, but it is a uh, very. I really like the design. It's very nice. That one. And that. One. So, kind of a different way to add some coins to my collection um, than I typically do. I'll probably do this again, trying to get some of the higher denomination coins from around the world that I normally don't get, just searching bulk coins, especially um, commemorative coins from um, from the Euros, from all over Europe, and then also um, from Great Britain, the 50 pence and the, and the uh, two pound commemorative coins that they have. Probably, I mean, the best thing in here is, is this uh, 10 Kopec from Russia that I paid almost nothing for. Um, but I hope you enjoyed just taking a quick look at these coins about into my collection. And I hope you're all doing great today. And thank you for watching.